My dear friends, uh, this is uh, Dr. Pandit Solom on behalf of Groovy Consultancy. So let us uh, talk a little about uh, uh, fiscal policy in brevity. Fiscal policy is in the kind of fiscal policy in the government. That is the purpose of the video. We will talk about monetary policy in the monetary policy. That is the circulation of money control. The monetary policy. The fiscal policy is in the fiscal policy. We will talk about the terminology. We will talk about the receipt and payment. That is the budget. We will talk about the deficit and surplus. Now, in the voluntary policy and fiscal policy, if you have a budget, you can do a budget to the surplus budget. But if you have a deviation, you can do a deviation. But if you have a deviation, you can do a deviation. So, the best of the fiscal is nothing but public finance. The best of the fiscal is nothing but public finance. Public finance is income and expenditure. If a government has an income, it will be a business. If you have a business, we will select MLA and MPLA. If you have a business, you will select MLA and MPLA. Waruman orang yang baru berendam, yang ada kah waruman orang baru berendam beri, na, umur welfare program berendam, yang mana welfare prioriti sendiri tu, hospital sendiri, education sendiri, water sendiri, so many things are on priority basis. Ini semua orang tu, sarjana mana yang la welfare distribution kurang ke berendam. Moreover, ini equality illah mal, nengel orang tu taxes ini berendam, apa proportional taxes berendam. So number one ni orang tu public finance, that is income you receive and how to spend your money, that is called public expenditure. The public income, the public finance and public expenditure. This is called the fiscal policy. In the fiscal policy, we use the policy frame and the policy frame and the budget to reflect the budget. So, we will go to the canon of taxation. So, we will go to the equality. We will go to the proportionate income. That should not be a burden. मॉनेटरी सप्लाई वाणी मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी ले वंदे उन्होंने मनी सप्लाई करें कि तो कहाँ है टैक्सेस लांग कोटा कोड़ी वाइप पर भरूं आप पड़ी पटे इंगे वंदा लोग में उन्होंने ये रेवेन्यू उन्होंने एक्सपेंडिचर यो और लोग के बेच पंडर मारियो इन्फ्लेशन कंट्रोल पंडर मारियो वेदर इट इस फिसिकल and poor will get the adequate prioritized facilities and medium and richer people will get the equal proportionate facilities whatever is defined. So, in the fiscal policy, we define how much we can derive the income from this income. That is in terms of the taxes and what are the taxes to be imposed and how the taxes will be charged. Whether it is a commodity wise or goods wise, income wise or different brackets we have already defined in public finance. Similarly, we will also take the priority items. What are the items will have to be spent to increase your welfare? How do you inflation to control the policy? That is why the fiscal policy main purpose is that should not burden the people and that should give maximum benefits to the public. And moreover, that should create an equality, arrest the inequality. This is the fiscal policy. The fiscal policy will end at the end of the budget. The budget will be balanced, otherwise surplus budget will be done. The surplus budget will be done, that should not be at the cost of collecting more and more taxes. No. That you will have to rationalize, you will have to minimize, you will have to effectively spend your money very wisely and your expenditure should not exceed your income but you should not first of all concentrate it even because in our family we have to go to the expenditure and we have to go to the upper end and we have to go to the stock of income and we have to go to the upper end so you will have to take up first of all we have to go to the shirt and we have to go to the daily to go if you have a tailor, you will have to measure your size, then you can ask for your dress. If you have a dress, you will have to put it in 42, 48, 44, 6, etc. No, it is not the right approach. So what I wanted, this is a priority income will have to be collected. Okay, collect for the money, how do I get the welfare effect? How do I get the efficient use? How do I 
extend the distribution very wisely to reach almost all the sections of the community and again the poor uh, people, middle and rich people and uh, reducing the inequality in such a way that our income will have to be collected and uh, the maximum benefits will have to reach the have not and the underprivileged and disadvantaged population. So this is known as uh, fiscal policy. Whether we talk of uh, monetary fiscal or monetary, the whole purpose is to reduce or control or keep your inflation under check and uh, keep your budget wise enough with spending uh, efficiently without affecting the welfare of the people. And uh, you can have a public, you know, you can increase the money, public debt or something like that, you can do it, whether it is in the form of uh, NSC or government bond or uh, collective money or something like that from the public towards the purpose for which you have been assigned. Should never be like a sinking Sri Lanka. Because there, I think, you know, they have lost everything because you no know, reserves is nothing there and your circulation of money is more and uh, purchasing power is uh, under uh, uh, excessive rate and finally your inflation is very high, no reserves and uh, you cannot import and your debt is also gone up or your budget is also deficit. So, we should, this should not happen. So, what is happening the monetary policy and fiscal policy in Sri Lanka? It is lost. So this uh, fiscal policy will tell you that how you will have to generate revenue wisely, effectively, without burdening, without hurting the people. Such a way policy will have to be formulated and the money which is collected will have to be spent on priority basis to satisfy the citizens and that should never create inequality. So this is the purpose for which fiscal policy has been introduced. Even though we don't spell out, we don't name it in our uh, regular practice, we just express in terms of budget where we bring out all the data relating to your uh, income and the expenditure and uh, whether it is a balanced budget or it is a surplus budget or deficit budget. If it is a deficit budget, how we should be offshoot, whether it is a public borrowing or whether it is external borrowing and whether it is in terms of grant or in terms of loan or if it is a loan and the repayment uh, obligations also such things will appear in your budget so that you will be able to know your public finance very well so thanks for listening